Hello YouTube, it's PH3 Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video, we'll be looking at some more gaming related pickups of the last couple of weeks, maybe month. As I say, sorry there's not been many games or gaming pickup related videos recently. That has, and saying that, given me time to source out the games that I've quite fancy picking up. And these games, I'm really excited that I've got. So, without further ado, let's jump into my gaming related pickup series part number 9. Now, most of you know that I'm a big Tomb Raider fan and was recently given the chance by a, a friend of mine. He was given away, moving house, given away a couple of games and three of these games, two of which are on PS1 and one on PS2. Now, the first one on PS1 we have Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, fantastic PS1 game. The second one is Tomb Raider Chronicles, another fantastic game on Tomb Raider, and the third game, the third Tomb Raider game for PS2 is Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness. Now I only need a couple more Tomb Raider games to f completely finish my Tomb Raider collection and I'm, I do look at getting them eventually. So that's the PS1 and 2 games, really highly recommend it. Tomb Raider, if you like your Uncharted games, Tomb Raider's for you definitely. Now next up, well, for PS3 we have another game that I found at that same car boot sale of the two, the Splinter Cell game and the war game, conflict game. Now this was also 50 pence because there was a seller there that was selling all these PS2 and 3 games for 50 pence each. And that is Call of Duras The Cartel. So it says, Welcome to the New Wild West. The sands of time have swept away most of the Old West, but some things remain the same. Lawmen I was and just served downright barrel of a gun. So this, I think this is similar to the Red Dead Redemption series. I don't think it's related to it in any way, but it's also another sort of Western game where you play as this dude and you go around doing missions for and basically killing enemies. So that's a really fun game on PS3 right there. And finally we are on to the PS4 games and yes, yeah, so let's just jump right into the PS4 as my camera battery is going to die in literally five, for probably about five minutes so I should have really charged this camera before doing this video but hey ho, that's a little mistake you have to live and learn by. So this game was originally released on the Sega in 1999 and it has beautifully been brought back as a remaster for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So the first game is a port of the original 1999 Sega Dreamcast and the second game is a port of the Xbox and that is Shenmue 1 and 2. The first game was absolutely fantastic. Really did bring bring you back to the original game on the Dreamcast. Personally I think the Dreamcast has better graphics than the PS2. I know it's controversial like but no, based on that first game even though the cutscenes were in 4 to 3 aspect ratio so you had the black bars at the side but also you could play it in the original Japanese voiceover with English subtitles or also you could have the English voiceover and English subtitles or Japanese subtitles as well which a really awesome new thing and also I had an open world there's an open world game Knife Night and Day Cycle also you could play fantastic games in the arcade and did have RPG elements thrown in there for good measure too and that is Shenmue 1, 1 and 2 remastered. Highly recommend if you in your open world games. Next up we had a really fantastic launch title for the PlayStation 4 and that was Infamous Second Son. A really fun open world game, getting collectibles and earning new abilities. You're, you play as a really powerful guy with superhero powers and it's really fantastic getting in those really good combos. Now this was one of Insomniac's fan best games in my opinion. I've played a lot of these games over the PS2 and 3 and I was delighted they brought this back as a remaster and that is Ratchet and Clank. Who doesn't love a bit of Ratchet and Clank? Absolutely love that. Fantastic game. Highly recommend as well. And the last two PS4 games, one I got at CEX for like 10 quid. I thought I'd take a chance on it because I love playing pool and snooker in the real life and Pure Pool is a pool game 
course, we play online pool tournaments and competitions with real people and also friends. You can play up to a variety of different players. It's got different modes against the computer and other players. It's got online leaderboards, accolades and trophies and a lot of tournaments and a lot of pool fun. And finally, we have a game that's just came out, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Currently playing this at the moment, going for the Platinum. Highly recommend this game. Because that one, I'm a massive Tomb Raider fan. If you like your Uncharted games, this game's for you, definitely. Fantastic storyline, really good characters. A continuation of the current rebooted trilogy from 2013. 2015 Rise and now Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 2018. And there we go, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, highly recommend. So that has been part number 9 from a Game and Pickup series. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I've been Peace for Gaming Scotland and I'll see you on another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. Bye bye.